everybody. We hope you're all keeping safe and well. And we just wanted to spend some time to go over with you the home learning that we're setting this week. Um, there are a few changes on there, so we just want to go through those with you um, and just talk you through really the learning that we'd like you to have a good go at as much as you can at home. So when you open the new document that has all of the information on for your home learning, you will see that the first thing on there is the Oak National Academy. Now this can be used um, to complete your maths and English lessons. Um, and if I just show you when you get on the link that's on the useful links page, if you click onto schedule and then click onto your year group, this will then give you lessons each day are on a certain topic. So for last week, the topic was transformations. So here you can see that if you click on, for example, the maths lesson and translation, you click start lesson, it will ask you to do a bit of a recap quiz. So you can do that and it will then go through the answers. And then it will give you a video where there's someone there modeling to you and also giving you instruction on what to do for that particular lesson. Then once you've watched the video, you've got a little task to complete and some questions and that the slides here along the bottom. So you can move along and play that through. And then at the end, then you'll have some answers and a bit of a plenary quiz that you can do as well. Now, as you can see, if I just go back to where we were, there's not just maths and English lessons on there. There's also some foundation lessons, which you can also do if you wish to. If I just click to Tuesday, um, this week on Tuesday, there was a Spanish lesson on um, numbers. So if you wanted to go back, uh, first of all, and do last week's learning, you can. Or you can just start from the Monday coming and go through um, from there. But if you want to do the foundation as well as the maths and English, you most definitely can. We are also going to provide you with our maths and English lessons as well. Now, although we are structuring these in day by day, go at your own pace, do what you can do. Whatever maths and English you are doing is better than nothing. So as long as you're having a go and trying your best, that is all we ask from you. So the maths this week is on multiples, factors, squared numbers, and all things to do with multiplication and division. And the English is the second week on holes. Now this will be the last week we're doing on holes. So at the end of the English document, if I just show you that as well, when you go to the English Home Learning, at the very bottom, so I've just scrolled all the way to the bottom, at the very bottom of the document, there's a link there that you can click on to read the rest of the text. And the English Learning is as it, as it was last week. You've got reading for meaning on Monday, two opportunities then for a write, and then a plan, and extended write continuation on day five. Just while we're talking about um, the learning, there's also, on Bite Size, um, some lessons available for different year groups, um, including some lessons from David Attenborough and Brian Cox. So if you're interested in all things geography, um, science, please go over there and have a look at the lessons that they're providing as well, as they're really fantastic. And I think lots of you will find those interesting. For your creative project this week, we would like you to either complete or both, depending on how much time you've got. Um, we would like you to choose between a science or an art project. The art is all to do with perspective and sketching and science is all to do with space. So we're asking basically for science that you come, come up with a final piece, whether that's a model of the solar system, whether that's a poster, it's up to you. And for art, a sketch of perspective based on landscape that you have seen. Sorry about my little boy there. Um, so that's what we want to say really. We would love to see any um, of your completed learning that you could show us. If you want to, you can email it to your Year 5 Manor Parents email address or you could upload it to Twitter. So stay safe, stay well and we'll see you soon.